Hello, hello, hello. Y'all know what time it is? It's detox time. It's detox time. Hello, you guys. How you guys doing this Supernatural Thursday? Y'all, I'm super duper excited. I'm going to let the music play, y'all. While we get started, y'all, my hair is sticking up, y'all. But I got to do this video. Y'all, look, I got an awesome drink on doc this morning for you guys. Y'all, I'm super duper excited. It's Thursday. It's not just any Thursday. It's a super net. Y'all, Thursday, I'm kicking my agape word of the promise shirt on today. Yes, y'all. Y'all see that? Y'all see that heart? Y'all see that heart and the blood drop right there? Y'all see that? I know y'all see it, right? So y'all look, while we get started, I want to go ahead, you guys, and yeah, y'all, I cut the music, amen, because I want to go ahead and get started, give you guys this video. You guys, look, it is Thursday. You made it. You made it to another day. In Psalms 119, it says this, this is the day that the Lord God has made. I shall rejoice and be glad in it. Say now, O Lord, I beseech you, Lord, Lord, send prosperity now. Amen. So I'm decreeing and declaring over your life that God said in prosperity in your mind and your body and also in your wealth. Amen. Glory be to God. So look, you guys, we know what time it is. It's detox time. We're going to do what it do. We're going to build up our immune system. Yeah, y'all. We're going to build up our immune system. So what I did with you guys, I have, um, actually I have a drink, right? It's a, a short detox drink. Along with, I have like one or two immune system boosters inside. So I have like a detox and immune system booster all together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and get that in. Y'all, let's say grace. And I have a short story time. You already know what it is, y'all. So, look, y'all. So I'm going to tell you guys, we're going to say our grace. And I'm going to tell you guys what I have in this bottle. Y'all, I did reuse my bottle. It was a Voss water. And y'all, it's glass, and y'all know how I feel about doing my detox and things of that nature inside of glass. I believe glass holds it better. Amen. Yeah, y'all. So let's go ahead and get it in. Heavenly Father, I give you praise, glory, and honor. Thank you for this drink we're about to receive, Lord. Let it be nourishment to our mind and our body in Jesus the Christ's name. Amen, amen, and amen. So look, you guys, while we're shaking it up, shake, shake, shake. Shake the devil off. Y'all know. Shake, shake, shake. We're going to shake and build our immune system up. Amen. Glory be to God. So, y'all, so much. Well, I'm looking for a straw. I have one. Oh, I bet you I don't have a straw. We haven't been going out to the regular drive through lately. Yo, I got I to gotta order some um metal straws from Amazon. I do not have a straw, so... I am just going to go ahead and I'm, I, I like, oh, I'm going to do without a straw. And I do not like, oh, I got my other straw here. I can use that straw. I had a drink yesterday, y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and, um, y'all already know, right? I'm going to go ahead and, go ahead and get it, the, do what it do, do what it do. All right, y'all. So let's get started. So you guys look, y'all. I was actually, y'all, I'm in the book of Judges, y'all. So I'm around the um sixth chapter of the book of Judges, right? And um, I, I made a post this morning about the the tissue, right? That we got, we have in our glove department. Amen. About if you have any tissue in your glove depart, um, um, your your glove department, you need to go ahead because she need to come out the stash now. That that was a stash, right? So um, y'all, what I did was I cold press. Yeah, y'all, your girl cold press. I cold press. I cold press. Our times, y'all, is knocked off because. There's no school, right? That you know they cancel school. They said, well, they they said until the end of the month, but we're not sure exactly. And I have to get my nails done too, so I need to call and see if my nail tech, amen. If um, is she's taking any clients, y'all? I need to see. I don't know, so I need to do that. I need to get my nails done. I want to switch this color and all that good, good, good stuff. And yeah, I need to do that. So let's go. So you guys, what I have here. I have celery, I have cucumbers, and I have lemon. Yeah, y'all. And I do have the Nepal's. I think I'm saying it right, but it's spelled N-O-P-A-L-E-S. 
Amen. Glory be to God. And it's like a cactus plant, y'all. And it's good. It is known. You guys, I am not a doctor. I am a natural health coach. Speaking of that, y'all, if you're not on my Facebook page, you need to follow me there because we have, we had to move our conference, Health is a New Wealth Conference, to Facebook Live due to, you know, over a certain amount of people. You, you know, you can't have it, y'all. So I have to obey the laws of the land. Amen. That's the word. Amen. I got to obey the laws of the land. Amen. Glory be to God. But, Y'all, we're going to do it on Facebook Live. Um, I'm super duper excited. We have like, um, it's like three of us. It's going to be four guests. Three of us going to come from the holistic um, perspective. And I'm super duper excited about that, you guys. Excited about you guys getting the information. If you have, you have not followed me, you need to go ahead over to Facebook. And you can find me on Yolanda Patricia Magwood. Amen. That's my entrepreneur, my public figure page. Yolanda Patricia Magwood. You can go ahead and follow me there. And I'm also on Instagram, which I need to, um, I need to like, you know, do Instagram more for real, for real. So Instagram is Yolanda underscore Patricia. Amen. Glory be to God. So you guys, yeah. So what I have here is celery, cucumbers, Lemon and a touch of Nep Nepal's. Nepal's? Nep I gotta make sure I spell that right. So be able to shake it up. Yo, I love this this vase jar. Man, you can reuse this thing. And I have a scrub right here for my water. Amen. So y'all ready? You are ready? Let's go. You ready? Let's go. Y'all want the first sip? Do you want the sip? Do y'all want the sip? Go ahead, y'all. Get the sip. Oh, y'all in that thumbnail. <laughs> All right, y'all. Let's get it in. Mmm. My scrub went right on down in it, too. Y'all, the scrub went right down. The girl went right down. I got the girl went right down. Mmm. I taste the cucumbers, and you guys know cucumbers are refreshing. So, I really want to taste the celery. I taste the cucumbers. But it's good. I taste what I do to now when I burp. I taste a little bit of celery, not much. I was thinking that celery was gonna overpower the, the um the cucumbers, but it didn't. But you know the cucumbers, you can taste that refreshing. Y'all, y'all already know when I pop, it's good. So I can taste the, and I don't taste the lemon. No, I don't taste the lemon. But I taste the celery. I mean, I taste celery. I taste the cucumbers over the celery. I did do a little bit of lemon. I didn't do much. Amen. But y'all, it's good. So, like, this is like a great detox. So, what I have is, I have, matter of fact, I have the um, celery. The celery is good because the celery cleans your gut. The cucumbers are, are phenomenal. Amen. It actually helps. It alkalines your body. And I actually have the, um, <laughs> I actually have the lemon. You guys already know that's a immune system booster right there. So, I kind of put all in one. And you guys, another thing, you guys, if you're actually, um, Doing this stuff, you know, I was, especially with the herbs, amen, glory be to God. I saw someone did a post and they had a lot of herbs. They had like, like probably 10 herbs together and they were drinking it like a tea, y'all. And, and you guys know, I'm in my holistic and my herbalistic class, right, course. And they were telling us, you know, you shouldn't have no more than three to four herbs together. Amen, glory be to God, bless you, because you want it to be, excuse me, you burped it too. You want it to be effective. So if you guys are doing the actual herb and you're balling it and you're doing it the natural way, don't put like 10, 11, 12 together, you know, making you think that you're going to get like a lot of benefits. You can do what you can do. You can split it up. I started to reply, but I didn't, you know, sometimes you got to like not respond to certain things because people take things differently. But I really want, I wanted to, but if you do, you guys, if you have like, Say you have like um, eight ingredients. Amen. Glory be to God. Eight 
herb stuff. You don't put all eight together. You can split it up. Do four. So do like a tea bag with four of them on that one, and then do the other four or another tea bag. See what I'm saying? You want to split it. That'd be better. And what you can do, you can do like you can do that first one in the morning with the four ingredients. And then you can do the other one at night. Amen. Because your then your body is getting them. If you put it all together, it's like it's like putting um 10, 12, 13 vegetables inside of a, a blender and then drinking it. You see what I'm saying? You're not, you know, because what you you know, you will get more benefits from one or the other than all of them. So you want to make sure that you split it up. Amen. So no more than three to four herbs together. Amen. Glory be to God. So you can get the goody, good, good, and you can get the benefits. Amen. Glory be to God. No, I am not a doctor, but I'm a natural health coach. Amen. And I'm actually in my holistic class and I'm actually in the herbalistics one, herbalistic class also as well. Of course, because I'm, you know, I am fun. Like what I do, I can tell you guys, and I, I haven't did it in a while here, but I did like the elderberry I did the ginger, and these are dry now. I did the elderberry, I did the ginger, and I did a, um, the burdock. Amen, glory be to the, the burdock root. Amen. Um, And it was phenomenal, you guys. I'm telling you, you'll get all the benefits and all that goody, good, good. Amen. So that's it, you guys, on that one. I just want to share that part with you guys. So, y'all, let's finish up because this is good for real. I was going to, like, drink it throughout the day, but, I mean, this is good. Y you can just taste the refreshing taste of it. Amen. My scroll right here, y'all. All right, y'all. That's it. That was good for real. That was good. Sometimes I wish I had like uh, my juicer at work so I can just like juice you guys, but. All right, no worries. So, but I actually have a bunch, you guys. So, I still have some immune system boosters on deck. You guys, I have a detox shot, right? And I had the Daniel line. Yeah, I had the actual Daniel line um, 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 plant leaves. Amen. So, I have a shot up here. I have a Daniel line, um, cilantro, and also parsley, y'all. It is the goody good good for real for real so i had that on deck um and i also had some other immune system booster on deck and i actually have the the uh, wheatgrass shot yeah y'all you remember i told you guys one ounce of wheatgrass is like equivalent to 23 servings of vegetables for real for real so when you're trying to put like all of those vegetables inside of your blender or whatever you can do one shot of wheatgrass and that's equivalent to 23 servings of your vegetables. Yeah, yeah. So you guys, that's it. You guys, so I said I had a story time, but we on 13 minutes, y'all. So I'm in the book of Judges, right, y'all? And I'm, I'm reading about, well, actually, I'm refreshing. Amen. About a guy by the name of Gideon. Yo, man. Gideon is a phenomenal dude. He was a judge. He was a leader. He was a prophet. Amen. Glory be to God. And one thing that Gideon said, because a lot of people was thinking, and I'm going to just stick on that part, and I'll tell you guys the rest on another time. One part, people, I know over the years I was reading when Gideon said, when Gideon said, I am the weakest in my clan, and I'm the weakest, I'm the weakest in my clan, and um um, and he said, uh, and our tribe is one of the um the weakest. And what Gideon was saying, you know, no, he said, I'm the weakest, we're the weakest clan, and I'm the weakest of my family. I want to break those two things down, that story down, what Gideon was saying. I'm going to repeat that again because sometimes the you know, you know, when you say it first, your flesh catches first, but the second time, your spirit catches second. Amen? So Gideon was saying, he, he said, he said their clan was the weakest, and then he said he's the he's the weakest in his father's house. And what he meant by that, that he's the weakest, they're the weakest clan, it wasn't that they were financially weak. What Gideon was saying was because Gideon dad, Joash, right? He was like a guy, he was a guy of he was a guy of an influence. Glory be to God. I would say not a king per se, but he was like a leader. 
Amen. And and what Gideon was saying that they wasn't poor because if you look around, if you read around in the further part of the scripture, when Gideon went to tear down the um the the altar of Baal and that pole down, Gideon took ten of his servants. Y'all hear what I'm saying? He took 10 of his servants. So that gives you an indication that they wasn't poor at all. What Gideon was saying was they were poor in faith and poor in their, their practice. Amen. Glory be to God. Because they're because that particular clan, they were they were um serving, they were worshiping idols. Amen. Glory be to God. Because the actual they said the um the alt the altar of Baal. Amen. And, and the Asher pole that was up there, it was Joash one, which means it was Gideon's dad. His pole, his altar. He built that altar. Amen. So that's what Gideon said that their clan was the weakest. And what he meant by the clan was his daddy immediate household. So it could be like the mama, the daddy, the sister, the brother, the auntie, the uncles, the cousins, you know, grandmama, granddaddy, them like that clan, you know, that. Amen. Immediate. And that's what Gideon was talking about. They were weak in faith in their belief. Gideon was the only one, y'all. He was the only one in his father's house. Amen. Glory be to God that still believe in God and the things in their ways. Remember, because it's the same, the same God most high to deliver his forefathers from the land of Egypt. Amen. And what he meant, the other part was when he said he is the weakest of of his of his father's house he was the youngest too y'all it didn't do any mean anything about his strength amen because when he went there with those 10 men and they said he was built yeah y'all get it was built he was built and he brought that altar down he brought that pole down he brought all that out idleness down amen so they didn't mean that he was weak as in strength he mean in age i want to stay right there for that second and and, and i want to tie it all together you may be the youngest in your family you may be the only believer in your family you may be the only positive person in your family glory be to god but guess what you can deliver your whole entire family just as god used gideon god can use you god told gideon god said gideon um to the angel of the lord Tell Gideon, I am with him. Get, I am with you, Gideon. You guys, look. It doesn't matter how young you are. It doesn't matter how um where you at. Amen. And and education or whatever. If God wants to use you, guess what, y'all? He has chose you. Has picked you out. So it doesn't matter. He can use you. Amen. Because he will get the glory. And out of that and out of that situation, you guys. Even though Gideon family was a family of non-believers. Amen. And Gideon was the only one. You may be the only one. Amen. But guess what? God want to use you. God went and found Gideon in the midst of a wine press where he's supposed to be, he was, he was supposed to be shedding wheat on the threshing floor, but he was a little bit of fearful. It even matter if you fearful, you just got to go. My good God today. Gideon still went and God still used him. And guess what y'all? The non-believers along with the believers, you know, got delivered that day. I'll tell you guys the rest of the story another time. Glory be to God. But I want to encourage you guys. It doesn't matter. Amen. God can use you. You may be the only one in your family that's a, that was a preacher. Like Jeremiah, I believe, like me, I didn't come from a long line of, of, of family members being prophets or, or being preachers or whatever. But I believe that God called me and I began to walk and press in what he has called me to do. You may be the only one that say, you know what, that's in your family that's doing on YouTube. Guess what? Do it. Amen. Glory be to God. Around me, there's not much people in my community, amen, that where I'm in this small town that I know of right this moment that's doing YouTube. So it doesn't look right. It looks abnormal, whatever. But guess what? The words still have to get out. These videos still have to get out. Somebody got to get encouraged. Somebody got to get, get the information about, you know, what you can do to build up your immune system for this time that we're in. Because you guys, truth for the matter is we can't just stay in our houses and, and stay in our house and begin to be fearful and never get out. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. You have to get back to work. You have to get back to whatever your lifestyle you were at. So you got to gradually bring yourself back in. We have not stopped. No. And the song say, ain't no stopping now. No stopping. Hey, no stopping. Yeah, y'all ain't no stopping now because I am built on faith. Yes, I'm going to use wisdom, and I, but I'm built on faith and not fear. Because truth of the matter is, whatever you fear, you attract. 
Yeah, did you know that? Whatever you fear the most, you will attract to you. Amen. So y'all, nobody got time for that. Nobody got time for that. I was looking this morning and, and um and other mornings and i go on other youtube and i watch people and i see people be in the comments be negative and i'm like oh my god lord this is how this is and he showed me people are negative all around so it's not about the negativity is what you take from it glory be to god so you guys if you're being negative about this corona this virus you guys look begin to think positive Yes, you can think positive in a negative situation. It's always good in something. You got to go and dig in and pull out the good. Amen. Glory be to God. So you guys, that's it. I love you guys. We're on 20 minutes. Amen. Y'all know I be trying. I say, you know what? I'm going to do 10 minutes, do eight minutes. But your girl like talking, y'all. I like giving you guys information. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. It says people perish for the lack of knowledge. But guess what, y'all? Uh, not necessarily. People perish because they don't obtain it. You don't soak it in. You don't digest it. Amen. And after you digest that thing, guess what you got to do? You got to apply it. Amen. So people don't perish the lack of knowledge. They perish the lack to apply it. Amen. Because you can get information all day long. I can give you guys this information about building your immune system, detoxifying your body, and getting probiotics. But if you don't apply it, if you don't use it, and it means nothing. So you guys get off that chair. Yeah, you. I'm talking to you right now. Get out of that bed. Yeah, you. Get out of that bed. Get off of that couch. Amen. And get in that kitchen and build your immune system up to what Lady Y is giving you. Amen. You don't have to live in fear. Begin to put in the work. I believe in you i trust i know i believe and i know with everything in me and i trust that you're using this information so, <clears throat> so you guys that's it you guys be great you guys or did you try did you did y'all enjoy my mother's my video for my mother's birthday y'all i tried the dungeon crabs for the first time and y'all that thing is good for real for real so you guys that's it i gotta go amen you guys make this supernatural thursday your best thursday ever you guys don't forget to like comment share Thumbs this video up, y'all. I need y'all to thumb this video up. I need you to go ahead and comment, y'all. Comment in the comment section, amen. How are you enjoying the video? Are you getting the nuggets? Are you getting the tools? Are you applying it? Most importantly, are you applying it? Amen. So I love you guys. You guys, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Thank you guys so, so much for subscribing to my channel. And for those of you that do comment, thank you so much for commenting. I enjoy every comment. I thank you guys, and I love you guys. Peace and blessings upon you.